Well, this featured boss lady has penned three bestsellers, all written in Cleveland Heights. Paula McLean has a new book out this week, one that has helped her open up about her own story along the way. Sometimes our deepest sources of pain can lead us to our life's purpose. And I believe that that's true for me as a writer. Paula McLean has spent the pandemic reflecting, reflections that have surfaced on her pages. The pandemic has forced me to be a lot more judicious about my time, and it feels more precious than it ever has before. Her most prolific writing has come out of her Cleveland Heights home and neighborhood. I remember you saying with The Paris Wife that you wrote much of it at Starbucks on Cedar Hill. Sometimes when we drive by or my my kids will point it out and they'll say funny things like there should be a plaque over the, you know, brown chair where you sat and wrote every day. They're really <laughs> proud of me. Well, they should be. And Cleveland is so proud of you. It continues to be surprising to me that Cleveland has such a rich community for writers, for artists of all kinds. It's a very creative place. It's where some of my happiest years have definitely happened. Her own story begins darker, growing up in foster care, a victim of sexual abuse in California. And that's where she set her latest novel, Just Now on Shelves, When the Stars Go Dark. My missing persons detective, who is my main character, shares my background. I gave my victim, who is a, a vanished missing girl, I gave her some of my trauma. And these characters have to find each other and they have to find their own way towards healing and self-recovery. Suspense was a whole new genre for her in ways McLean says this is more personal than her memoir. I went back and forth, back and forth. Do I have the chops? Am I really going to do this? Is this a good idea? Am I being reckless? Is this self-destructive? And then I remembered my favorite, one of my favorite Joseph Campbell quotes, which is, as you go the way of life, you will come to a great chasm jump. It's not as far as you think. And I just thought, okay, I'm going to take this leap. That's what I would say to somebody who is afraid of trying something new or launching out into a, you know, onto a different path or challenging themselves. That courage is also reflected in a modern love essay she wrote last month in the New York Times titled, Why I Took a Vow of Celibacy. Why did you want to share that with the world? You know, celibacy is one of those words that definitely stop you in your tracks, but I have never gotten more responses ever to any pieces of writing that I have ever published, ever. It's incredibly moving to me, Sarah, that we could be so connected, right? That we can share such personal information and feel better, not worse, when we're vulnerable. Oh, we could have just kept talking. And you can see our whole conversation on WKYC.com slash boss ladies. And Paula says she is already in talks with Hollywood producers about when the stars go dark. Like I always say, you want to read the book first.